Listen, do you want to know how the market's gonna fare in 2023? I'm gonna offer you my humble opinion. I think that generally speaking, I do a decent analysis based on being in the market. And I've got, by God's grace, and I'm humble about this, I try to be humble about it, uh, God's given me some insight around things so that I can generally um, give good advice that's correct, generally speaking, okay? Uh, disclaimer, look, I'm not predicting the future, but I use my insight and my general knowledge and understanding to give insights on how the market's gonna perform. If you watch my videos from 2019-20, you'll understand what I'm talking about. Now, if you want to purchase a property still, Dubai it's still a good time because uh, watch this video and you'll understand, okay? But there is a team of ready advisors who are ready to help you. Hit the link below and get in touch. Don't forget to hit the like, subscribe and bell icon and show some love in the comment section. Show real first. All right, guys, go. Look, I'm gonna give you a realistic view of how I see the Dubai prices and the Dubai market's gonna fare in 2023. I personally think that rents are going to continue to rise up and go up, okay? I don't see any signs of a recession looming in Dubai right now. In fact, if something dramatic happens like the dollar collapsing or the war in Russia and Ukraine expanding into Europe, I feel that Dubai is gonna have more people coming in, not just Russians, but across the world. We're gonna see Dubai as this symbol of security, peace, and safety, and it's gonna attract those people coming in, okay? The per square foot price. Now, if you're smart, you're gonna pay attention to this. The per square foot price of construction is gonna go up, which is gonna make sale prices go up. This is very easy, why? Oil prices are up, oil prices aren't crashing down anytime soon. Cement is up, wages are up, labor is up, airlines tickets are up, vacations are up. Guess what? Your per square foot prices are going to be uh, going further up as well, okay? Now, I wanna give you a little bit of a primer and give you an understanding of what I personally feel so that you will understand where the prices are going to be going and why they're going to be going like this and why I am saying that they are going to be going like this. Okay, so let's just use this right now. Okay, this is a price graph, okay? So this, this little, yeah, this little, this little blue, black thing, I want to show you this as a price graph, okay? This is a price graph from 2017, then what happened in 2019? 2020, 21, and December 2022, okay? This is a price graph of Dubai real estate, the low average prices, okay? This is the situation that was going on in 2017 and 18 and all the way up to 19. We had the oil prices low, we had the Qatar embargo going on, we had natural fiscal reasons, okay? Generally speaking, real estate and other financial markets or assets that are linked to finances expand exponentially for four, five, six, seven, ten years, and then they contract generally. So this expansion had been going on, or the recovery since 2009, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, or you could say the recovery had started in 2012, and then we had prices going a little bit downwards, okay? Now the prices were not going downwards so dramatic, it was more, more like this. Uh, due to space, I've actually ended up making more dramatic. But 2019, ideally speaking, would have been the bottoming out. Uh, and what would have happened is, you would have seen the prices bottom out like this, and then start going up. But then we had the weird pandemic. So instead of these prices following up like this and going back up, we had this extra, extra space. We had this extra, extra, extra dip where by August 2020, we had this extreme, extreme, extreme dip because of the global weird pandemic. And now what happened is, because of the pandemic, the prices shot up, okay? Now you see, this is what I'm thinking is gonna be happening in 2023, okay? But right after August 2020, prices shot up over here. 2022, 
They kept going up, but they didn't go up. The reason they shot up is because they went dramatically lower during the pandemic, right? Generally speaking, we would have seen the bottom over here, but we saw the bottom over here, and then there was no way except prices to shoot up in 2021, and then 2022, they still went up, and now, in my opinion, they're gonna go up like this instead of like this as a rocket, but there is 23, 24, 25 still, because if you look at it, generally speaking, real estate markets expand for seven years, then they might contract for a few, then again, they expand, okay? This, in my personal opinion, humble opinion, is a realistic view. However, this does not exempt you from buying value. You buy value, you're gonna be okay. You won't have to worry about prices dropping. You don't have to worry about the market working against you. Purchase value and you're going to be okay. How to purchase value? Seek expert advice. We've got a team of advisors ready to help you. And we'll be more than happy to assist and guide and take you all the way. Oh, by the way, there is a link below. Hit it, click it, let's talk. You can get in touch with my team and we can see if we can, we, we are both qualified to work with, with each other because we do run a paid service. Don't forget to hit the like, subscribe and bell icon and show some love in the comment section. Ciao for now. Bye-bye. Hey guys, thank you for watching the video. I hope you liked it. My name is Fad Daud. I've been doing this for 15 plus years. I started in uh, Toronto, Canada in 2006 and since 2007, I've been based in Dubai and doing real estate in Dubai. Look, if you're looking to work with me, there's a form below and my mobile number. I do paid consulting. You can also uh, get help for, uh, from my team for services. If you like the video, press the like button, press the subscribe and the bell icon and share it with uh, your friends who you feel would be able to benefit from the content of this video. Last but not the least, I'll repeat, me and my team's role is always going to be to help and select the best property for you. Your role will be to invest in that property and we will in turn invest in your life and your future. Bye for now.